once John Bradfield's proposal of a through arch bridge design was given the go-ahead, the next step was to get all the details in place. The strength of the bridge would come from the concrete pylons, two very large hinge pins at each end, as well as the steel arch itself. Steel cables dug into the ground would be attached to support the arches while they were being constructed across the water. Many residential homes and businesses were demolished in order to make space. In 1923, an official ceremony took place to mark the turning of the first sod, symbolic of the state's commitment to the project. Stone cutting facilities and metal fabrication workshops were constructed. The aim was to create as many resources from New South Wales as possible. Thank you.